They're touting it as the province's latest move in trying to get a swelling homeless situation under control. Now, it's important to remember this is just one step in a longer-term plan to address homelessness and help people move out of unsafe encampments. 90 units and two one-level buildings are expected to be built early next year and be in place for at least three years. BC Housing provides the money, $6.9 million, and the city provides the land. It's temporary and it's coming here quick. It should be in place by March. The buildings will be located at 1500 Main Street in Mount Pleasant and 2132 Ash Street in the Olympic Village area. The transition process will work like this. As more people in shelters move into the units, shelter spaces will be available for people wanting to shift from the encampments. Premier Eby says putting groups of people from encampments into hotels purchased by the province for housing isn't the best solution. We can have really bad outcomes that come from that. So getting people from encampments into a dignified shelter where we get to know them, where they can stabilize, where we get to know what, where their needs are, and then from there find good housing for them that matches their needs. Housing Minister Ravi Kalan says he's in conversations with mayors in B.C. about similar short-term solutions while permanent housing is being built. Mayors across the region, although we're talking about, you know, Vancouver today, we need all community partners in the region to step up and play a role. And so far, I've gotten commitments from everyone in all types of housing. The province estimates 475 people are living on Vancouver streets. This advocate says it's a good first step in a crisis situation. We've seen a lot of them. They've been going for years now. So they're, they're good housing for people. Uh, anything but the streets is really important right now. As for funding housing efforts, the Premier says there is a budget surplus and money available. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.